morning guys and happy Sunday. I hope you guys have had such a wonderful week and a weekend as well. Um, today for that series of children's sermon, there's, there's Charlie. He's coming on in. He wants to say good morning to you guys also. We are going to talk about faith. Now does anybody know what faith is? If you're listening in, go ahead and tell your parents. Um, just shout out some ideas. You guys are welcome to, to comment what they say as well. I always love to hear it. By the way, that reminds me. I loved some of the runner stances that you guys did last week. You guys are winners, and I would put you on any race team, absolutely. So talking about faith, go ahead and shout out some ideas of what you think faith is, right? We hear the word faith a lot. We hear it in church. We hear it um, on TV shows, from our family. So what do you think faith is? To me, faith is having confidence in something. So for example, Charlie, he has a whole lot of faith walking underneath me right now that this swing is going to stay up. He has faith that his ball will always come back um, when he goes to pick it up when we throw it. <laughs> he has a lot of faith in us every day. So faith is having confidence in something and being really sure of something and trusting something um, or someone with your full self. So we can have faith in a couple different things. We can have faith in something like this swing, right? This swing's hanging up and holding me off the ground right now. I imagine it wouldn't feel good if it dropped, but I have faith that it's going to do what it was designed to do. We can have faith in someone and then we can have faith in God. So a good example of having faith in something. Now, sometimes we have a little too much faith in things. I think one of the, the biggest ones that we have throughout the day is faith in our chairs, right? That it's going to hold us up. I know these people, they had a lot of faith in a couple different things. So check out what these people had a little too much faith in. much faith in the things around them, right? So sometimes we overestimate what things we put our faith into, our confidence into. Now, just because like that last example, maybe she shouldn't have been standing on the chair, on a child's chair, but that doesn't mean she's never going to trust a chair again. Sometimes it just doesn't go the way you think it will, or you go a little too far with something, but the chair's still going to be there, right? And then we can also have faith in people. Now, what are some, when we talk about faith, having confidence, having trust, believing in someone, what are some people that you guys have faith in? Go ahead and shout it out. If your parents or family are around, I imagine you might have a little bit of faith in them, right? I always have faith in my mom and my family. I have a lot of faith in Adam that um, he will do the things he says he will, that he will mow the grass when he says, um, that he will take care of Charlie and feed Charlie when he says. And then we also have faith in other people, right? We have faith in police officers to protect us. We have faith in our teachers um, to help us learn, especially right now. We have a lot of faith in our doctors and our nurses um, to help make us all safe and protected. And we also have a lot of faith in our neighbors right now to do the right thing to stay healthy at home and take care of one another. So there's a whole lot of faith going on. Think about how you guys, who you guys trust in the most. And then above all this, above our things that we have faith in, the people we have faith in, the biggest thing is God, right? We hear a lot about God of how he is steadfast and um, never wavers in his love for us and his protection for us. And so when we talk about confidence, what a beautiful thing um, to have that faith in God, that we will persevere through whatever journey we're in. Um, one of my favorite sayings is, if he'll bring you to it, he'll bring you through it. And that's the same in this case right now, or anything that you guys might go through in life. Have faith, meaning confidence, trust, and belief in God. And then if you ever do start to question, what a beautiful thing that we have prayer, that you can actually just talk to God and talk through the situation and know that he has faith in you as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday, a wonderful week, and you guys do some awesome stuff this week. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.